Okay, what we're going to do today uh, is try to get the plastic headlight covers on this GMC truck uh, clear so the light can shine through it. It's pretty uh, faded looking. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. already did the other side. What, what I'm thinking here and, and what I tried is just like you might do on car paint. This is something that worked for me. Uh, I'm going to use different DAs, different grits of sandpaper. I'll talk about that in just a minute. But a lot of this could be done by hand. It's just going to go a little quicker with what I have. All right, so what you want to do before you do anything is go ahead and tape off around your headlight. And I would do a pretty good section, especially if your paint's in good shape. And get the edge of your paint in here as well. Oops. It tears really. Okay, one thing too is that uh, I noticed on mine, I'd, the other headlight that I did, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some, uh, just a double layer down in here. So anywhere you think that when you're sanding, you might slip up or whatever uh, with the DA or the electric sander or however you're gonna use it. All right, so I have an electric uh, DA. I also have an air one. I'm gonna use two different ones uh, while I do this. But again, you could do a lot of this by hand. Just with hand, if you're hand sanding, do cross hatch, you know, 45 degree angle, then 45 that way. You know, if you're gonna sand it like that, take it out and crisscross patterns like that. This does a circular and an orbiting at the same time. So, just so you know, this is gonna be the 220. We're gonna hit first. <laughs> So I don't know if you can hear me, I'm just kind of going back and forth. And let me stop right here. I want to stop here. I want to show you something that I'm seeing. Okay, I went, I went ahead and stopped because I just hit it a little bit, but notice that you can kind of really see these imperfections here. So these are high and low spots. I just hit it with the sander. I'm going to sand quite a bit more than this, but I just wanted to see this because you'll kind of see where your headlight's probably all funky. There's cracks down in here. So we're going to try to do our best to sand some of these out. If they're real deep and those cracks are on the back side of this plastic, uh, it's not going to get them all, but we can definitely make it better. We can make the lens clear. Headlights real bad down here, like we were looking before. We want to sand it pretty good because at this first step, this is where we want to sand it and try to get our imperfections out. I see swirl marks in here, so we'll see what comes out, but that's not that big a deal unless you're trying to go for car show mode. Tiny. So let's stop there for a minute. You probably can't see it because I'm not zoomed in, but there's shiny pieces here. That tells me it's low, I'm not getting them just yet. So we really want this thing a uniform dullness across here. I don't want shiny pieces in here, so let's just keep going. Okay, so this is the 220. Uh, I don't really have any shiny parts now. So we've got a pretty good cut on it. Okay, you could clean this with just water or whatever. I just happen to have some glass cleaner around. So I'm gonna wipe it down. Just kinda clean some of the dirt on it or the grit. This is the headlight up close or closer. You can kinda see. This top part's pretty good, which is the main driving headlight. This is high beam on this particular vehicle. So again, you can just kind of see, you've really, you know, we've dulled it up. Don't freak out. <laughs> you can bring it back. So this is just part of, again, we're just cutting down the levels, the imperfections, trying to cut them out of here. It'll feel actually smoother here. And I can feel it. This is much better than it was, but I still feel some stuff in it. So we'll keep working on it. So this is the 320. Again, you could go like 220 to 400 to six. Just look up stuff on people wet sanding 
paint and stuff like that. But again, it's all different ways you could do it. So let's go ahead and hit this. We're going to do the 320 now. So you may not have compressed air, but this you can keep changing the the uh, sandpaper. But it clogs up pretty quick. Clogs up pretty quick because 320 is fairly fine. So I'm gonna hit it again. Okay, while I was sanding, I was trying to hold it as flat as I could without catching edge down here. I went ahead and cut it pretty hard now. This thing is feeling pretty smooth now. I don't feel all the funkiness in here or those chunks, you know, where we were looking earlier when I tried to show that. You saw low and high. This thing feels nice. This is this starting to get better. So that was 320. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch over to, I'm gonna jump up to 1500. All we're doing is keep lowering the, the mountains, if you will, make it as smooth as we can a little at a time. And then what we're doing with the sandpaper is getting rid of the scratch from the grit before and slowly working our way where those are the same thing. There's little grooves and cuts. And so now I'm gonna flatten those grooves and cuts with the next, uh, you know, less aggressive sandpaper as I work my way up the stack. Again, just trying to get any little grit or anything that we've put in here off of it. I can tell when I was sanding before, I'm starting to hit this I went through that first little level of tape, so that's why I put two down here because you're liable to hit down at the bottom. So whatever vehicle you're doing, if you're down in here, you're not going to put too much tape to protect the paint. And I'm switching sanders just because that's the just what I have <laughs> to use. No particular reason. You can do whatever. Yeah, so this is 1500, and uh, we're not going to wet sand or do any of that yet. That'll be on the 3000. We'll introduce water into the mix. Uh, but we'll go ahead and sand this again, smoothing it one more notch. Okay, so we just finished the 1500. Uh, this feels pretty darn smooth right now. This feels nice. Big difference. I blew it off, but let's clean it again. You can see when I get this wet, you can kind of start to see it's starting to get clear a little. Just how what, what it's going to kind of look like when we're done. Okay, so now we're going to go with the 3000. And this sandpaper can be wet sanded. This one actually has a little bit of a pad. So we'll put it on our sander. And in this one, we're just going to use a little bit of water. You don't need much. If you have a uh, little pump up, a little, not, I mean, a little hand sprayer with some water, you can just, ch -ch -ch -ch. I just happen to not have one handy right now. So I'm just going to put a little water on here and we'll kind of get it on there damp like that. And then sand. Now I also will take and clean it. I just have like a little chamois, or not a chamois, but a little micro cloth. So then we'll put more water on it. I don't feel anything on it right now. So we're getting there. can start to see it's getting pretty clear when we get it wet. By the way, this thing is uh, feels really smooth now. We hit it with that, that fine grit. I can't feel any of this stuff. I see it in here, but I can't feel it. This stuff's super clear and smooth here. Okay, so now we're ready to buff. You could do this by hand with the compound. I would do circular motions just like you would on a car. And uh, just keep going, you can bring it back to life. I happen to have a buffer or a machine here we can use. And I've got this uh, first step of compound from the 3M product. And this pad that's on here is the one that goes with this. So they have different, um, how aggressive they are. This thing's kind of beat up, so it's not, it's not real aggressive. 
But let's go ahead and, and make a start uh, buffing on the light. So I just put a little on here. Uh, this stuff's going to sling around if you're using a machine, so cover up what's in the area. It makes little dots everywhere. So I'm just going to kind of put some on the pad, and then we'll hit it, get it going. Now this one you want to take, stay flat. It's pulling pretty good on me. That means it's cutting good. Uh, the nice thing on this plastic, you don't have to worry about burning it like you would a car paint. All right, so that is starting to get a whole lot closer. In fact, this side's better than my other side I did, so I don't need to. <laughs> use the 80 grit and um, it's getting pretty close so let's make it two more uh, two more changes but honestly you could stop right here you're pretty good maybe put some regular car wax on it because see, I went ahead and changed the buffing wheel for the next level of compound or, or polisher we're going to use this is the machine polish so this is a 3m step two uh, again may not be a necessary step but if you're trying to get it as clear as you can uh, we'll go ahead and do this as well So you just kind of put it on there, get enough on the pad, and get it started. And again, you want to hold it flat, and we're going to use a little bit higher speed. You can see it's getting, a, it's getting super clear now. Okay, so we changed uh, to yet another buffing pad. This one goes with the 3M3, uh, level three, the machine polish here. So this is the final step we're gonna do. Uh, again, if you were doing this all by hand, you'd be done. You could just hand wax it after the compound, clean it good and hand wax it, and it'll probably get you there. But we'll go ahead and do this final piece here, and then we'll take a look and compare it same thing, just get it on the pad. We're gonna spin this one up pretty good, pretty fast. Okay, so that was it. We'll just give it a good clean up here on the edges. The tape held up pretty good from getting through any paint. It burnt through a little here. So I think on the bottom section, when you tape it, I would put like two, three, four levels of tape if you have a real good paint job or you don't want it to get hit because all it, you just barely touch it and it's gonna mess it up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut the headlight on. Let's take a look what it looks like. Let me take it off low. All right, there is the low beam. You can see it's pretty clear, although it's kind of hard to tell on the camera. And then I'll do the, so there's the high beam. You can see there. And that's probably fairly hard to see on the camera, but uh, way better than it was. It's going to work a lot better at night for drivability. All right, so we went through a couple steps. We did it. Um, really, it's not that hard. I think it'd be a little bit more work if you were doing it by hand. But if you can get a machine sander or some things like that, it'll speed it up. But if you don't have any of those tools, it doesn't matter. You can still do this, and I think you can get pretty good results. Um, this is how I did it. Hopefully it helped out. I know there's probably 100 different ways to do it on YouTube. Hey, be sure to uh, subscribe to me, wherever the little button is to click. Uh, I would appreciate it. Peace out. doing basically is on the headlight itself if you figure it looks like this you know it's imperfections across the headlight like that so that's on the flat surface of the headlight a brand new one
probably like this, right? Pretty, pretty smooth. So what we'll do is take sandpaper, different uh, grits, and, you, and we're gonna cut it down. So we're gonna try to get it as flat as we can. So we'll cut chunks of it at a time like that. So I'm gonna go pretty aggressive first. Uh, we'll probably do a 220, 220 here. See what we can cut down. We're just trying to do it as quick as we can or quick. Um, earlier I did some experimentation on the other headlight and I went 80 grit, but it made marks in here that when I went with the finer grits, it didn't get them out. So when the headlight's on, you can actually see the little swirl marks from the DA uh, orbital sander because it makes swirl marks like this the way it sands. Where normally if you're sanding by hand, you wanna do 45 degree angles like this and like that. So sand here, sand here on the surface and you're gonna have a better chance of knocking these high spots down or imperfections and junk that's on the headlight on the plastic outside of it. So that's what we'll do. We'll come through and we're gonna to try to get rid of that and then we'll sand it or um, use different levels of compound with different buffing pads. So we'll come back with a pretty aggressive cut because we're gonna have higher imperfections like that. We're gonna sand that down or not sand it, buff it down. Then we'll come back with a little bit finer grit, then a little bit finer. Uh, what I think I'll do on the sandpaper for this, the other, he the other side of the truck, the headlight on it, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with a, all right, we'll go 220. And then I'm gonna probably go to, I think I have a 320. So we'll go 220, 320, again with a compound, you know, like a rubbing compound on that. And then from there, I don't think I have any uh, 800, but I've got a DA that I can go and I've got some 1500. And then I'm gonna go 3000. So that's the different sandpapers I'm gonna use on this other side. And let's see how it does. Because earlier I had put some 80, like I was saying, and um, I think that was too aggressive. While it cut fast and it was nice, <laughs> Uh, I had a hard time getting that back out of there, you know. So just remember, the more coarse that it is in the beginning, you got to work that back out and, and keep finding. And it's the same concept as as the imperfections. All you're trying to do is you're knocking down high spots. So if you go real coarse 80, you you get these high spots or you knock them down. But you got to remember you're making big gashes and cuts in there. So now I got to go and, and get rid of those and work my way up. And then the good thing is on the 3000 or say 1500 in here, the compound will start to smooth this up, get rid of the scratches, and then we'll slowly go to finer compounds and different pads.